Oh man, I forgot to get the shots before I got it dirty, so I sprayed it down a little bit. Man, doesn't look good. Look at that carbon fiber, fake carbon fiber. Hydro dipped. Man, it looks killer. I love it. Woohoo! Look at here, look at here. <laughs> so, yes, it is another Farm Mac product. Um, this one I had to purchase myself. Uh, so, this was, you know, it's not given to me. So, if there's any thoughts whatsoever of, of whether or not I'm going to not give a fair review, then wipe that from your brain. Uh, this right here I got, it is a, what do they call it, F660. It is the Neotech slash Farm Mac F660. And um, it has the hydro dipped plastics and clutch cover as well to look like it's got carbon fiber. And let me tell you, I'll get more, I'll get close ups. You, you may have already seen them. I don't know how this video is going to go. But um, I, I'll definitely get close-ups of it. It looks outstanding. There are little spots where you can see where it didn't, didn't take exactly perfect, but ugh, you, you can't ask for better than that, honestly. And that is one thing that I will say about the Farm Max saw specifically. Um, they know how to make a pretty chainsaw. The uh, 372 clone that I have is uh, also, it looks stellar as well. Just the combinations, the color combinations and things, it just looks great. I, I, I love it. And I like things to look pretty. And everybody does. You know, some people like to put up a front and say, Oh, it's a chainsaw. It's not supposed to be pretty. <laughs> Stuff like that. But um, we all like it. So... Uh, I already got this. I got it yesterday, and I just put it together. The top handle wasn't, uh, you know, it was it was disassembled from the factory. Uh, the dogs I had to put on, but that was it. And um, so, didn't want to bore you guys with that. So, what I can say so far, besides how it looks, it's got killer compression. <sighs> really good compression. That's a good sign. Um, and it came with, of course, the little bag of goodies that we've come to expect from Neotech. Um, it's got all the good little things in here. You know, you have your chain gauges and your bar gauge, uh, piston stop, different kind of piston stop, um, ring compressors, which, yeah, they, they this one's probably big enough for, for that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Comes with a nice little tool kit, right? Uh, but this one specifically came with an eight millimeter um, T-handle socket, which is quite, quite nice. Uh, it also came with the little, what is it? I think it's a 27 uh, Torx bit T-handle. Very nice, uh, very nice. Uh, it came with this right here. So this. This model is their professional model, and so it comes with a high flow air filter setup. Let me go ahead and show you that right off the bat here. Ta da! So uh, I can't speak to how well it filters, but it looks like it's going to do a good job. It looks good. Uh, the. Um, yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. I, I believe this is, I, I think I could be wrong here, but I think this is a direct copy of the ProFlow uh, setup. Actually, yeah, it says ProFlow right on it. So maybe this is an actual ProFlow setup they just added to it. Had hydro dipped and bada bing, bada boom, you know? But uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. All I know is definitely a high flow filter setup. But, oh, but it came with this. I was going to show you this. This right here will hold on the air filter if for some reason you want to run it without this cover. 
you can use this to hold that filter in place. But you don't, uh, it, it doesn't seem as though you can use them both in conjunction, it's either one or the other. Um, so yeah, I haven't opened it up enough to see if it has a Walbro carb on it, but I'm certain it doesn't. I think that even whenever these things get a carburetor that says Walbro, it's just completely a knockoff and it's most definitely not a Walbro. I don't know for a fact though, so whatever. Um, if this thing runs good, then this thing runs good. This, you know, uh, it, 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 it is all a complete copy of a saw of a of another you know of a steel chainsaw so i don't i never expected it to have well did i you know with that that one i did expect it to have a walbro carb because it said it has a walbro carb uh but this one right here i don't know if it says it or not so whatever um but one thing that's really cool is it also came with it has on it a 3 8 7 pin sprocket but it comes with a 404 seven pin sprocket and an eight pin three eighths sprocket. So uh, that's, that's just cool. And a lot of stuff like that, you know, like these little tools, the ring compressors, things like that. I can un understand why a lot of people are, would think like, oh, they're just buttering you up, man. You know, those little things doesn't mean anything they're just buttering you up. Well, you know what? I ain't never had a biscuit that didn't taste better with a little bit of butter on it. <laughs> and it is really nice to get those little tiny extras that probably doesn't cost them much of anything at all, a couple dollars to throw them in, and it goes a long way with me. I, I like that. It's really nice to get really decent tools to work on this thing. It's great. I love it. <laughs> So, um, looks fantastic, doesn't it? My gosh. So the reason I got this is for the um, Clone Wars class at Sawfest. At Sawfest, they have a very specific class where you're running a steel um, 660 clone saw. Uh, the, everything has to be stock as far as the cylinder goes. Um, I don't think... I think that's the big thing. They just don't want you to run like a Husk, uh, I'm sorry, a Husqvarna, uh, a, a steel, an actual OEM cylinder because the OEM cylinder will produce more power than these clone cylinders from what I know. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't get good power out of this cylinder. And I know a lot of people have gotten good power out of these cylinders. And so that's what we're gonna go for. Uh, what else can I say? I just can't get over it. it. It just looks killer. The throttle feels so good. It really does. It, it, it feels bang up and it looks bang up. A couple little things like um, it, it was missing. Um, it's missing a nut to go on this roller right here. The chain. Uh, it's a. It goes right there is to prevent the chain from coming back and cutting you in, in case you're in a situation where the chain gets derailed. Um, so I can't run this yet. I, I, I had to choose either put the nut on my, my dogs here, right, to hold them in place or put it on this. And I chose to put them on the dogs. But, uh, you know, next time I ace hardware, hopefully I'll remember to put this in my pocket and I'll take it. Uh, in there and get the right nut for it and and I'll run it but I also had to um, it was too long right so let me show you this up close so this right here this is how long it was I had to use a pipe cutter to cut this amount off because you, uh, you, you can see the, uh, the, the, the straight edges on there. You have to be able to put a wrench on there in order to tighten up the nut. Otherwise, this thing just spins. Well, you couldn't get a wrench on there because this plastic was just completely covering it up. So I had to cut that off. 
So I just used a little um, a pipe cutter. I keep this handy dandy little tiny pipe cutter around and just for stuff like that. No problems there, uh, but that's it. That's the only things that I, was a problem, sort if you want to call that a problem, you know? Uh, otherwise everything, everything came with it. And it's got the, uh, it's got the skid plate as well. Uh, you know, the 372 clone had a skid plate for it as well. But uh, this one comes with a full wrap handle. And I will say, man, I'm sure this is, this is a steel design. They just copied it completely. But man, that handle sticks so far off of the top of this saw. And um, I mean, I, I like that. I like it. It's because this is a big saw. You don't need small and compact. This is a big Brutus <laughs> type of saw. So the, the extra height on that handle is welcome to, for me. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to throw a bar on this. The longest steel bar that I have is the 25 inch bar that I run on my, um, CS4, I keep saying CS, MS 400, right? And it's only a 25 inch bar. Uh, but, uh, I think that that 25 inch bar will get me by for the race in, um, in Ohio at Sawfest, so I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to buy a, another steel saw, but uh, we'll go ahead and put the bar on here, get some good footage of it before we get it dirty, fuel it up, and um, do a couple cuts with it, and you know see what the initial thoughts are. So far at this at this very moment, I'm like, wow, this thing's nice. It's so nice. There was no broken clutch cover this time. Um, and all of my intentions are to love this thing. It's going to be awesome. So we'll see. We'll put the bar and chain on it, throw it in some wood. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and see what RPM it's turning from the factory. It was idling at 3500 and it would rev to 9100. That's 12,400. Just a tiny little touch. story from that 372. <laughs>
He's a pig in shit right now, fellas.
Damn. That junk right there is nasty, nasty. That stuff is hard as nails. That saw right there, I tell you what, that thing is nasty. Serious. That is a good running saw. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted in that 372, but they absolutely failed to deliver. Not this time. Wow, that thing runs great. That runs really great. Let me get this uh, camera set up for a better shot. Okay, very impressed. And more than that, very happy, very happy. Uh, after the debacle with that 372, I was really leery about getting another one of these Chinese clones. But it seems like they got this one pretty well sorted out. That thing runs good. I mean, if it ain't as fast as a stalker, it ain't far off, you know, from an OEM 660. I've ran OEM 660s. By feel, they ain't got nothing on this guy. I'm serious. I'm not... I am genuinely impressed. I would have no problem putting a 32 inch bar on this thing and showing up at a job site. I wouldn't be embarrassed one bit. That thing runs good. Runs very, very, very good. And it's only gonna get better. From here, we're gonna modify it, we'll pour it and polish it. I th if I got time. I mean, you, my deal with Sawfest is I really don't give a dang if I lose, sure, I want to win and stuff, but if I ain't got time to port this thing up, then I ain't got time to port this thing up. It's only two weeks away. I got other stuff on the burner as well. So, heck, I might just run it stock, <laughs> but I doubt it. I, I, my plans are to port it. But, uh, but like, I already ordered an OEM carburetor for this thing, just knowing that I was going to need it. Damn thing runs pretty skippy. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll definitely try the OEM carburetor cause I got it coming and uh, we'll see, we'll go from there. But man, that thing's impressive. Really it is. Um, thumbs up on this one. Good job Neotech, Farm Mac, whatever you want to call yourselves. That's a, a, a darn fine little saw. Really, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Oh man, I forgot to get the shots before I got it dirty, so I sprayed it down a little bit. Man, doesn't look good. Look at that carbon fiber, fake carbon fiber, hydro dipped. Man, it looks killer. I love it. I, this 
I don't know how you guys feel whenever you're watching this stuff. I can, I can understand and believe, you know, I, I get it. You probably think that nine tenths of all this stuff is just hogwash. But if you look at my video on the Farm Mac 372, you'll see my real thoughts of that, right? I did, I think, three videos of it, I think. Uh, but this thing, totally different story. That thing rips. I am very, very happy of that. I have a 592. I have ran 395 Husqvarna. Uh, I have ran uh, 066 and 660s. I have ran another uh, clone saw of a 660. Uh, one of the original back, you know, three or probably three years ago, maybe more than that. It was a uh, Holtzforma Farmer Tech clone saw that I put together myself and I upgraded. A lot of stuff like the crank bearings the uh, triggers the clutch all kinds of stuff you know and that thing runs stellar my buddy Randy he has an 066 and I bet you that will beat his 066 and his 066 has a uh, uh, straight shot an Egan straight shot on it and it's got this big pro flow filter as well that thing runs killer very impressed with that little saw big saw it's not a little saw that's big but yeah digging on this hardcore really digging on that hydro dipped plastic i'm gonna have to do that to some other saws that just looks killer all right well that's enough for this video i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed making it I always like running these power saws. I'm in a real blessed situation, you know, where I get to do this stuff and the channel's growing. If you haven't done so by now, please like and subscribe. It really helps out. The more subscribers I have, the more views I have, the more views I have, the more money I get, the more cool videos I can make. And uh, yeah, that's enough for that. Man. Man, why couldn't the 372 have been that good? God. I love it. I love it. I love it. It runs fantastic. I gotta say, my 592 will beat it, I'm sure. But by feel, it feels just as powerful. That thing's strong. That, th that thing's strong. It does vibrate a lot. It's like a rattle can. I, I just now remembering to say that. But yeah, it does vibrate a lot, a lot. Like I said, it's like a, it's like a paint shaker, <laughs> serious. But uh, maybe that'll cause real problems with the bottom end. Uh, I don't know, we'll see.